We've been hearing for years that Ottawa has capacity as a hub for connected and autonomous vehicles. So what better time and place than CAV Canada to check in how our hub is motoring along. That's this week on Techopia Live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Techopia Live. My name is Craig Lohr, the editor here at Techopia. We are at CAV Canada, the annual Connected and Autonomous Vehicles Summit here in Ottawa's capital, the Brook Street Hotel. The sun is rising on a beautiful second day here. We have panels, speakers, uh, and many exciting activities planned to, to discuss the future and, and, and pressing issues facing the autonomous vehicle sector here in Ottawa, in Canada, around the world. It's an exciting uh, annual event event here in Ottawa. But uh, I want to talk about something that we've been talking about for years, and actually that's, that's the, the capacity for Ottawa to be a hub for AV tech. So I've assembled quite the panel to discuss that very topic, how we're doing in AV this year. Uh, we all want to start with Sonia Shori, the Vice President of Strategy, Marketing and Communications at Invest Ottawa. Welcome, Sonia. Welcome. Veronica Farmer, the Director of Operations at the Canada North Business Association. Great to have you as always. Thanks. And Grant Corfield, the Vice President of Product and Strategy at Blackberry QNX. Thank Great. you, Grant, for joining us. Uh, now, uh, I want to start here. Sh uh, Sonia, right to my right. Uh, we've talked again for many years about, you know, we are becoming an AV hub, the capital of AV in Canada here. Uh, how are we doing? There's been a couple milestones lately that, that I think bear, bear mentioning uh, in, in this development and, and building a capacity for this, uh, a cluster for AV here. Uh, if we were to give a report card, uh, how are we doing lately? What are the achievements we can speak to? So I think when I think about us as Canada's CAV capital and connected and autonomous vehicles, there's really three key ingredients. Our industry cluster, we have 90 companies here, Craig, that are all contributing intelligence and technology to vehicles of the future, anchored, of course, by BlackBerry QNX, as well as our telecommunications companies, Nokia, Ericsson, 90% of the industrial telecommunications R&D in this country takes place here in Ottawa. That's a huge strength. Talent being the second ingredient, our post-secondary institutions, Carleton, University of Ottawa, Algonquin, La Cité, Willis College, all producing that next generation graduate that's really well targeted to this industry and this sector, many of them customizing their programs so that that talent stream directly addresses those needs. And of course our test capabilities, Invest Ottawa is so excited and thrilled to have worked with the province, the city, partners like Blackberry and many other multinationals to launch the Ottawa L5, Integrated Connected and autonomous vehicle test facility. Those test capabilities, given the proximity to policymakers here in Ottawa, our incredible four season weather, the snow, sleet and ice that is now a competitive advantage for testing, together with those telecommunications capabilities and the host of companies we have here, really attracts a great deal of opportunity, investment and talent into our region and that's what we're all about. Mm -hmm. And we, We've got the L5 on display right we behind do. us, but we're also going to be displaying it later this afternoon. Yes. Uh, people are going to be uh, go down and actually see some, some of the action at the L5. Five, we will be. We're bringing mm -hmm. 200 participants from CAV Canada down to the track um, and certainly celebrating some of the incredible milestones we've had recently, including the Ottawa L5 Arigo Pod launch here in Canada North, Canada's largest tech park, at the Marshes Golf Course. So we had hundreds of participants and community members through that shared feedback with us about their experience. Transport Canada, Invest Ottawa, gathering that data so that we can put it to work and Arigo using it to enhance the capabilities of their shuttles. Just one of the milestones stones here in Ottawa. So as far as the momentum in our ecosystem around CAV, I think it's incredible. Um, and we share that story with the world very broadly. Yeah, it's, it's exciting to talk about milestones in AV because the, they're often actual miles that we're, they we're going are indeed. in, in yes. pods, around tracks, that kind of stuff. And all the uh, learnings as part of those miles exactly. that we put to work. Uh, yes. Veronica, uh, as I mentioned, we're talking about being an AV hub, but why are we even caring about branding ourselves like that? Uh, there are many Canada North Tech Park, Canada Tech Park uh, companies that are working uh, in this space. What is the importance of, of telling the story of the tech park when we, we add that AV element to it? Right. Well, as Sonia touch, touched on, there's so much momentum going on. There's so much collaboration going on. It's critically important that it, that as a brand, a Canadian and an Ottawa CAV brand, that we uh, you know amplify that brand internationally. I think it's critical because we are looking for talent. We're trying to attract that, that world-class CAV talent, and it's important that uh, if they, everybody knows, obviously, that we're here and that we are doing great 
great innovation and technology that they this is the place to be. Secondly, in order to attract the right kinds of companies to populate the ecosystem, to work uh, together, and so having that brand out there and knowing that we are doing good work here in Canada North and in Ottawa, it's important for uh, companies internationally and nationally to know that. I think the other piece uh, that's critically important in order to fuel the drive the innovation, uh, you know, you'll see that it, innovation happens in collaboration. So mm. uh, we have um, BlackBerry QNX here and around in our cluster here in Canada North, we have m many com companies that come specifically because they want to come in close proximity to work together, mm -hmm. to uh, integrate, to test their technology together. And so there's this, this, this need uh, to fuel that uh, innovation by coming together to do that. So mm -hmm. I think it's critically important. Uh, we have such an amazing ecosystem here. Uh, Sonia touched on the, on the pieces is that we have not only the tech, we have the talent, and we also have the testing. And these are critical pieces uh, as we pilot more and we bring it to our, um, you know, our citizens uh, that we, you know, we promote that uh, lo you know, nationally and internationally that Canada mm -hmm. is uh, a CAV hub. Yeah, yeah. And, and one of the things you were saying there, I want to pick up on and actually send that to Grant. You mentioned BlackBerry QNX being uh, an anchor company of this of this cluster. We would say, uh, Grant, what are the benefits of that, of the collaboration that Veronica was just talking about, being as part of a hub? How does BlackBerry benefit from that? Oh, it's great. I mean, you're really starting to see it grow. And just over the last few years, you've seen this huge focus on connected autonomous vehicles, technologies related to that, sensors, smart cities. It all kind of ties together. Obviously, our headquarters is right here in the Canada Business Park. We've been in Ottawa since 1981. Um, the core of our engineering happens right here. Our second home is now, well, the Canada is our, where our headquarters is, our second home is the L5 test track. We're there mm -hmm. all the time. It's fantastic. And to Veronica and, and Sonia's points, it really takes collaboration between not just the large companies, uh, but also small companies, governments, entrepreneurs. These kinds of events are fantastic because you got people that might not under, understand or know a lot about what's going on, but they see this critical mass of companies and technology and people and passion and enthusiasm. They want to be part of it, and you know a lot of them are coming here to find out more because there's a lot of competition, there's a lot of innovation occurring around the world, and we need to attract that talent here to Canada, here to Ottawa, and I can tell you it's absolutely happening. We got people applying to BlackBerry Cunix from around the world. Classic interview question, why are you applying here? Geez, I love what you guys are doing in autonomous technology, and when they find out more about Ottawa, they absolutely love the quality of living here in Ottawa. Um, so it really does take that critical mass. We get asked to go do testing and whatnot quite literally around the world, and we've got what we need right here. We really do. And more and more companies are coming to Ottawa, and you're going to see more and more announcements of major companies coming to Ottawa. It's sort of this, um, you know, the classic snowball effect. Started small, accelerated very quickly, and now you're seeing it grow like crazy, yeah, which is fantastic. Like the Ford, who's been, uh, had a presence here at the conference, but also have their innovation center now here in Canada. Arago, you mentioned earlier, with their autonomous pods coming here to, to take advantage of what's going on in this cluster. And, and like you mentioned, the, the talent question, the, the attraction of, of uh, people who are doing the, the, some of the coolest stuff in tech right here. So the, that, that helps tell the story. We've talked a lot about the talent crunch in Ottawa uh, and anything probably that can help uh, tell that story, uh, add to the, the marketing push to get more people here, uh, obviously would, would, would serve a purpose. Uh, so we know where we are, we know where we've come from. Uh, I want to know next, where are we going? Uh, what in the next, uh, and I'll go along the line here to anyone who wants to, to chip something in, but the next 18 to 24 months, what are we going to see in Ottawa? What do we need to see to, to take the AV hub to to the next level and, and Sonia will start with you. Then. I think on the heels of this conference the biggest message I've been left with is Ottawa has a tremendous opportunity to be a global leader in this space. Monica Minsterin from uh, Century yesterday said we're in the muddy middle so much is evolving we can bring all of our strengths to bear mm -hmm. at this critical juncture in CAV industry development and have a real impact and that's really what Invest Ottawa strives to do through the Ottawa L5. It's all about safety. The more test and validation we do the greater the opportunity to increase safety for CAV 
DAV and our citizens in future. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at building out those capabilities. Uh, you know that we support entrepreneurs. We also have a global expansion team that looks to attract uh, new companies, investment and talent into the region. We go out into the world. We have some exciting missions coming up to both Israel and Silicon Valley where we'll be bringing companies to connect them in with potential customers, investors and suppliers. So very exciting on that front. Uh, we also have some big announcements coming up in the next few weeks. So a teaser, lots of intrigue where there'll be new companies that will be joining us that will complement our ecosystem to uh, Veronica's point, building up that cluster and hopefully some new collaborators for companies like BlackBerry, QNX, and others. There's never any shortage of There's never any shortage of adventure so or excitement. We're always in this waiting ecosystem. for this. <laughs> yeah. exactly. yeah. uh, Veronica, anything for you? Well, I think uh, given the the success of this of the CAV conference this year, uh, given the programming that we've had, I, I think probably one of the, the next steps, particularly for uh, Canada North Business Association and Invest Ottawa, is we will actually begin to plan uh, next year's conference. We've also had so many people um, indicating their interest to not only speak but to attend again, mm -hmm. and we can really see um, uh, another dimension of how we might be able to um, prepare this conference to be even better than it has been this year. So I think that's an important piece because I think we have to have a centerpiece, an opportunity for these innovators, uh, and you know, to, to come together and 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 uh, share their their experiences and learn their insights. You know, all of this. Yeah. So I think we'll I think we'll begin planning <laughs> for next yeah, year. Yeah, for for the the fifth uh, edition, I uh, believe, correct. of CAV yeah. Canada. Yeah. It's been growing every year, like you said. So uh, right. obviously, yeah. What, where does it go next is, is a great question to, yeah. to see and stay tuned for. Mm -hmm. and, and Grant, either for the the hub itself or BlackBerry Cunix, uh, yeah. what are you looking forward to? next couple of years. Um, you're going to see more companies relocate or set up shop essentially in Ottawa. You're going to see more people set up and move to auto, which is fantastic. You're going to see more graduates out of the schools that we have here locally and beyond coming to Ottawa, which it's great to get involved with the educational institutions, colleges, universities, and you know high schools and even mid-level mid, uh, uh, mid schools and whatnot. So you're going to see a lot of that. You're also going to see a lot more activity probably around smart cities, smart infrastructure, because connected vehicles, and I'll put vehicles in quotes, sure we talk a lot about cars, but we're already working with drone companies. We're already working with smart agriculture companies. Um, the automation and autonomy is spreading well beyond just the car. So you're gonna see a lot more happen in that area. Uh, obviously, we've got great um, networking companies here in, in Canada. Um, so we're gonna be networking essentially all of these connected devices, but I think in the next couple of years, you're gonna see the acceleration of innovation around cars vehicles um, vehicles in general but then also smart infrastructure and smart cities and again we're perfectly suited to be able to you know innovate in that area capitalize on that area and, it, and it's all related and I think we've got all the core pieces right here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. absolutely yeah and, and, and great points to mention connected vehicles are connected to something right so exactly. uh, the development of the smart city yeah. Ottawa has many initiatives that they're, they're working on right now uh, mm -hmm. in conjunction of course with with invest Ottawa L5 all that so uh, uh, yeah uh, paying attention to what else outside the car develops here in Ottawa, that'll be exciting to follow as well, Grant, so thanks for mentioning And just that. building on that, mm -hmm. major players from around the world are calling us, they're coming to Ottawa. Yeah. We just had a precision agriculture delegation with John Deere, the likes of the big players from the agriculture yeah. sector, the police chiefs, associations from across Canada recently here, safety and security organizations, GM and Uber were on our track exploring mm -hmm. all the different capabilities this week. We're getting a lot of attention. We're raising the visibility of Ottawa together, and it's critically important for that and new opportunity. Names that everyone knows. Names that the everyone knows. They're the yeah, big players. John they're the Deere, flagships. Uber. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We're excited. Uh, so, uh, to all three of you, thank you so much for joining us uh, for for this special edition from CAV Canada. I can smell the breakfast already, so I won't hold you back from it too much longer. Uh, I'll just take a quick moment to thank some of our sponsors, without whom Techopia Live would not be possible. I want to start with Number Crunch, offering virtual CFO services to SaaS firms. There's TD. Bank offering specialized programs for tech firms. There's Pearlie Robertson, Hill and McDougall, a leader in business and tech law. There's the University of Ottawa, Faculty of Engineering, creating the next generation of technical talent. There's Stratford Managers, offering services to help you scale up your tech venture. And KRP Properties, offering so much more than just space. Now, I just want to remind you, Techopia Live is not just this fantastic show. We are also available on obj.ca slash techopia with daily articles covering Ottawa's tech scene. You can follow us on social, on Facebook and Twitter, at Techopia OTT. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please leave us a like and a comment and subscribe. And if you, if you
you would like to see more of our weekly tech interviews. Apart from that, I just want to thank you very much for joining us for this latest episode of Techopia Live. I want to thank our wonderful panel for joining us from CAV Canada. Uh, and we'll see you next week for the next episode. Hope to see you then.